Take information, but don't let somebody, you know, order your life. Make sure what you do is the product of your own conclusion. Excellent note to make. Make sure what you do is the product of your own conclusion. Not to do what someone else says. Take what someone else says. Process it. Think about it. Ponder it. If it makes you wonder, if it makes you think, then it's valuable. Then when you go take action, make sure that the action is not what somebody told you to do. Make sure the action is the product of your own conclusion. So we can't just, you know, tell the latest 10 jokes and just go home. We're not here to entertain. We're here to instruct. We're here to grow. We're here to learn. We're here to get the best we possibly can. Serious. Life is serious. The future is serious. One ancient novelist said, these are the best of times and these are the worst of times. It's serious whether you win or lose. It's serious whether you succeed or fail. It's serious whether you've got a good future carved out for yourself or you do not. These are serious matters. Matters of the heart are serious. Matters of income are serious. Matters of supporting your family, serious. Are you serious? Why? We've got a serious matter here to discuss. And I'm asking you to take it serious. Take your own future serious. What you can do for your family, take it serious. Seer so number two, get smart. At the, that's what these journals are for. That's what pad and pencil's for. That's what taking notes is for. See if you can't increase your ability to comprehend ideas, information that can be life transforming. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Take a good key phrase home, use it in your training. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be casual in learning. Get smart. If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week. Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. And you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now, the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need another year just to prove a point. No, one year is enough. Learn from your own experience, right? The possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Some people want to start with motivation. You don't start with motivation. So education, get smart. Don't miss the training class. You say, well, I've already been to one of those classes. I've already heard it. I got a good phrase for you to take home. That's no sign you got it. Just because you've listened to those millionaire tapes one time is no sign you've got it. I'm asking you to listen to them over and over and over. I'm asking you to dedicate yourself to a new level of learning. Study, learn, grow, change, develop. Never let it be said you didn't learn, right? If you want to solve your problems, you got to learn. If you want to take advantage of an opportunity, you got to learn. Here's number three. Get going. You got to get going. You got to take action. The disciplines is the miracle process. And here's how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned. Number one, do what you can. Should read, could read, don't read on the wrong track. Should call, could call, don't call on the wrong track. Could change, should change, don't change. You're on the wrong track. Letters you haven't written, conversations you haven't had with your family, Somebody you should sit down with when you get back home, get that job done. Don't let neglect destroy your days, destroy your life, and destroy your future. Go back and do what you can. And if you'll do what you can, then life will give you some extraordinary things to do. We all pity the man, right? Wants to stride out of his house, go straighten out the corporation, has not yet straightened out his garage. You got to take care of the small disciplines before life will give you a chance to handle the more complicated disciplines. Do not disregard the smallest of disciplines. Let us not neglect. Do not neglect the smallest of disciplines and build on that foundation and you can have everything you could possibly want. Okay? Get going. Here's number four. Get better. There isn't any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. 
That was what my teacher shared with me to change my life. I'm telling you, for things to get better, you got to get better. Don't ask for it to change out there. Ask for you to change here. Don't ask for a more favorable wind. We call that naive. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better. Be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Get better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Next, get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger. There isn't anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you, may not even recognize you. How strong you're going to be able to become in language, style, personality. The ability to cope, the ability to handle with anything that happens, no matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave, I stood up. My mind sat back down. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up, I did it again. And I did it again, and I did it again all those many years ago. I did it when I was scared, and I did it when I didn't want to, and I did it when I was ill. And I did it when it didn't work well, and I didn't did it when they didn't appreciate it, and I didn't a lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing. I just did it anyway. The greatest introduction I've ever had, greatest response and welcome I've ever had, greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul. I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month, and I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Just get stronger, get better. The key to development is to be all that you can possibly be. I don't know what your talents are. I don't know what your skills are, but here's what I probably am right on, that you're behind on an accelerated effort toward your full development. But what could I become? Being all that you can be and not let habits drag you down, not let things, you know, sidetrack you from the full development of what you have the capable of being. Uh, what, what all could your heart encompass if you really had the chance and you really had the disciplines and, and really got to it? What could you really become? What could you earn? How healthy could you really be? How many books could you write? How many poems could you write? So here's what I would ask of you. If you feel that you're a little bit stalled wherever you are in your progress, I'm asking you to correct that. I'm asking you to see if you can't possibly be on a more accelerated track toward your possibilities and your full development. Here's what life is all about, to become all that we can possibly be. The full development of all of your potential is the wise use of all of your resources. That's what life is all about, full development. So go for high productivity, the full employment of your genius, the full development of your potential in all areas of your life, including earning money. That is the essence of life. Make this note, none of us lack the capacity. None of us lack the capacity. We have far more capacity than we have time to take advantage of. Mr. Schoff only went to the eighth grade in school, so he put things in very simple language. He said, Mr. Owens, you're 25 years old and you're an American male and you've been to high school and one year of college and you're not at least a third of your way towards your fortune. He said, isn't something wrong? Now, see, I'd never looked at it like that before. As being wrong, he said, something's wrong. And then he said, there's nothing wrong with the country and nothing wrong with the companies and there's nothing wrong with the banks and the money, but there's something wrong with your plan. There's nothing wrong with you, but there's something wrong with your thinking, something wrong with your plan. You bought the wrong story. You bought the wrong formula. And it's easy to wind up a nice person and broke. 
it's easy to wind up sincere and poor. I'm telling you, you can be sincere and poor, and you can work hard and be poor if you buy the wrong formula, buy the wrong plan. You didn't add up the percentages. You never took out the calculator. You never counted the cost, as an ancient phrase says. Now, see, that kind of blunt, straight language really helped to uncover where my problem lies. Didn't you read the books? Did you break your hoe? This is talking straight. This is telling it like it is. I asked the question last night, am I reading enough books or am I not? If I engage in my current financial practices, will it take me toward the fortune I would wish for in the next 10 years or will it not? If I keep up my current health practices, will I have the vitality and the health and the vigor to do all the things I want to do five years from now? Will I or won't I? Are my current practices taking me where I would really like to go, or have I been kidding myself for quite some time? I had a day just before I met Mr. Shove called, Do Not Kid Myself Anymore Day. Here's where I am after 25 years. Here's what I've got. There's no use Mickey Mousing with the numbers. There's no use trying to stretch it. There's no use trying to excuse it. There's no use trying to paint it some phony color. Let's tell it like it is because it's the truth that starts the freedom mechanism working it's the truth that starts to relieve the mind of all the guilt and all the excuses and get right down to where it is i can do something about that right away and then i started getting excited after my trauma had passed the only change that is really going to dramatically affect your life is you mr shelf said to me mr Owen, if it isn't going well for you you don't say what's wrong out there you say what's wrong in here there's a black heritage spiritual that says, it's not my mother nor my father. It's not my brother nor my sister. It's me. What a revelation. But once you find out it's you, that's something you can go to work on this very day. You can start to make a new stretch today. You can start reading some new books today. You can sign up for some new classes today. You can start engaging in constructive thinking today. You can make some life-changing decisions today. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after this evening, only by choice. Now, this is called dealing in straight talk. See, I used to blame everything outside. And then let me give you a little philosophy that helped turn my life around. For your notes, here it is. It's not what happens that determines the quality or the quantity of your life. It's not what happens. And the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody. No different. The sun went down on all of us last night. A common event, a happening. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people. One gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, but rather it's what you do that changes everything. So that's a key phrase. It's not what happens, it's what you do. What happens is about the same. You might put that in parentheses here. Same. What people do, that's what's different. Somebody says, yeah, but you don't understand the disappointments I've had. Come on. Everybody's had their share. Disappointments are not special gifts reserved for the poor. Everybody has them. The difference is what you do about it. So here's one of the key questions of the evening. Starting tomorrow, what are you going to do that'll make a change in your life's direction? Good question. What are you gonna do starting tomorrow that'll make a difference? Now, see, if you don't do something starting tomorrow that'll make a difference, guess what? It's gonna be the same. And see, that way you can guess what the next five years are gonna be like. Look at the last five. Because the next five are gonna be like the last five, unless you, major key, tomorrow, change it all. Or change a little, or change something, or don't change. It's choice time, you can do whatever you want. But it's nice to know any day you wish you can change your whole life. What can you do with economic chaos, massive disappointment, 
What can you do with a broken heart? What can you do when it won't work? Good question. And come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts. They're there, waiting to be utilized. And then change anything for you you want to change. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight, only by choice.